Welcome to our presentation all about allergies from the Anaphylaxis Campaign. They are a charity which helps people all over the UK who have allergies by giving them information and support. Today, you will learn about what allergies are, how to know if someone is having an allergic reaction, and how to keep people safe at school. An allergy is when your body reacts to things that can be harmless to others. Allergies can be caused by certain foods, animals, chemicals, and even pollen. In the UK, we recognize 14 different common food allergens, but there are other non-food allergens too. By looking at these pictures, do you think you know what the allergens might be? Here, we can see peanuts, mustard, eggs, dogs, pollen, tree nuts, such as hazelnuts, shellfish, such as crabs, milk, sesame, and chemicals, but there are many others. So, an allergy is when the body reacts. The allergen is the thing that makes the body react. Can you spot three hidden possible allergens in this picture? Did you find them all? They are the dog, picnic, and trees. What this tells us is that for someone with allergies, they have to be careful when they go out. It takes a lot of planning on how they can keep themselves safe. You have just learnt what an allergy is, but what does an allergic reaction mean? When your body comes into contact with something you are allergic to, it makes it react. This is the body's way of saying that it doesn't like it. The body is very clever and releases special chemicals to protect it. A severe reaction is what we call anaphylaxis, a very long word. When this happens, a person needs help very quickly from an adult. Before we look through the things that might happen when someone has an allergic reaction, it is important for me to say that just because you may remember times when you have felt these does not mean you have had an allergic reaction. But if you do have an allergy, then the teachers here will already know about this and know how to keep you safe. I'm telling you these symptoms, so if you notice your friend showing any of these signs, you can ask the teacher for help. If someone is having an allergic reaction, you might notice an itchy skin rash on their body. They might have an itchy or tingling mouth. You might see their lips, face or eyes looking swollen or puffed up. They might have a tummy ache, feel sick or be sick. If someone is having a bad reaction, you might notice they find it hard to swallow or cough a lot. They might say they are feeling dizzy or look floppy or sleepy. One thing to note is that it doesn't have to follow this order. People may have just one of these symptoms or more, and these can come on quite suddenly. Would you know what to do if this happened at school? or outside school? That is right, tell the adult in charge. So that would be a teacher or your parent, or if an adult isn't present, even your friends. They are the ones who would know what to do and how to give the right medicine. A mild reaction would be something like a runny nose and watery eyes. An adult would give some medicine from a bottle. We call this antihistamine. Here are pictures of the medicines which can be used to help people who have had a bad allergic reaction. This is called adrenaline. The adult in charge must give this medicine because there is a right and wrong way of doing it. The anaphylaxis campaign have come up with some simple rules for anyone with allergies to follow to help keep themselves safe. You can help your friends with allergies to follow these. Tell friends about your allergies and how they make you feel. Don't share food. 
Make sure an adult knows where your medication is and wash your hands properly before and after food. If your friend has an allergy, these are the things you can do to keep them safe. Ask if your friend is allergic to anything and ask them what those things are. Don't share lunch or snacks with your friends and try to look out for your friend at meal times. Know what to look for and when to get help. Make sure people do not make fun of allergies. They are very serious. Take care to wash your hands well to protect your friend. It is important to remember that you can't see allergies. You would have to ask your friend if they are allergic to anything. In this presentation, we have covered what an allergy is, what the symptoms of an allergic reaction are, the medicine we use, and how to keep each other safe. One other important thing I wanted to say is that just because you have an allergy doesn't mean they have to hold you back from achieving everything you want to. Ariana Grande and Serena Williams both have allergies and are extremely successful. Allergies won't stop you from experiencing the wonderful adventures that await you. All it means is that you, your friends and family just need to be a little bit more careful. Thank you for listening.